Hello everyone, welcome to Art with Kendra. Today's lesson is going to focus on the difference between positive and negative space. Now the positive space in your image is usually the subject matter. So whatever it is that you're drawing or painting, uh, that becomes your positive space. So here we have a flower, the flower itself is the positive space. The negative space is what is surrounding the flower. So you know, usually it's a little bit more a background or even empty. Um, if it's true negative space, it's quite empty. And uh, so that becomes the negative space in the image. So when you are drawing something, let's say a flower, right? And you're focusing here on our positive space. So here we've drawn in our flower. I'll just give it a little punch of color here. So it's very clearly positive space. So here we have a flower and this all becomes positive space. Now, when somebody says to really look at the negative space of your image, what you're looking at are the areas that are not the flower. So if we really, if we zoom in here and we crop our image like this, it becomes slightly abstracted, but our subject matter is still this flower. And then the negative space becomes these little areas right here, these almost triangle shapes, right? So if you were to, let's say, draw something within the negative space, like you, you could add something in here and it would kind of become positive space, right? So you might want to add a bee, just add a little cartoon bee here, there you go. Now, the bee has also become positive space. And then again, the space around the bee is the negative space. Um, now, when you're looking at something that's a little bit more abstract, positive and negative space become a little bit more obscured. So let's say, for example, I'm just gonna make our, uh, well, let's leave the background white for now. And I'm just going to draw some random shapes here. Here we go. Here we go, just some random shapes here. Nothing too complicated. There we go, just something to give us a little bit of context in our drawing. There we go, we have some shapes. Now, right now, the positive space is still the areas kind of within the lines of our artwork. Um, if we add color to this, it becomes even more apparent that these are the positive areas in our, in our drawing. And the negative space is that outside area. Now this follows a little bit more of a traditional um, color or a black is positive, white is negative space, but that isn't always the case. So even if we were to change this background color and turn it into black, we still have this positive and negative space in here. But something that's happened is that our positive space is now divided up by this black line, which has become, you guessed it, negative space because it is feeding into our background. So the negative space went from being the object in its kind of entirety, and now negative space is actually traveling between these tones. And it is still positive and negative space, like this is still kind of your background to these elements, but the negative space is now, um, you know, interacting a little bit more with our positive space. All right. Um, so in today's lesson, what I'm going to do is we're going to draw a picture using positive and negative space a little bit more like this. Um, a, a lesson that I like to do for positive and negative space is to take an image and um, whatever image you want, really, and then in half of your page, draw your positive space. And then the other half of the page, draw your negative space. So here is an example of a drawing that I did in my sketchbook that's playing with positive and negative space in a very graphic way. Um, so the this area here with the white background, this area here has the empty white space as the negative space, kind of more traditionally done. And then I've used the darker areas to communicate the positive space. Like there's still, this is still technically considered positive space because it's within the object. But in terms of this black and white composition, it kind of becomes negative space due to its tone. Um, here we have the eye. So this is tr more true to what we're looking at. It's more representational. So negative space, positive space in this area here. Now, uh, on the areas where the negative space is black, what we're looking at is an inverse of our original drawing. So everything on this side is kind of flipped. So our background is black, and then our positive space in this one becomes white. 
the negative space becomes the black. Again, within this world here, technically this is all kind of positive space because it's contained within our subject matter, but it plays with the boundaries of negative and positive space in a very nice graphic way. As we flip down into this quadrant right here, we are still, this is still the positive space kind of background negative space being, or sorry, uh, negative space being the background white and the positive space being the subject matter, right? You can see a little bit of that negative space kind of feeding into this area here to divide the animal's head and body. And that is absolutely great. Again, it gives it a nice graphic quality. And the negative space kind of going through here creates a lot of interest. And as you can see on this side, the negative space kind of feeds into that as well, um, creating the division between the head and the body. So this is an example of something kind of playing with the idea of negative and positive space using black and white, um, kind of basic, uh, almost silhouette-like drawings. So this would work with anything, right? I mean, let me just get a scrap piece of paper here. So... For example, you could do a, let's, uh, well, let's stick to flower. So you could do a flower and your flower does not need to be symmetrical, but I am kind of doing a symmetrical flower here. Maybe we have our bee over here. That's fine. Here's our bee over here and we can have our stem. I think the stem's going to go there, but maybe a leaf is going to go over there. There we go. So it's not quite symmetrical. Um, and then what we do at that point is we decide what's positive and what's negative space. And how do you draw that graphically? So I'm just going to take a, a good old pencil here and I'm going to start to do that. So the B is tricky because we have this black strip. So what I would say for the B is we will have, we'll have to thicken our outline, I think, to create that shape. There we go. But I'm simplifying everything quite a bit, quite a bit. So we're just going to thicken our outline here. Kind of like here where we have this out or this outline here. So we're going to thicken that outline. And uh, for the flower, I am going to color in our subject matter. And I'm going to leave a little bit of that line, again, this, just so the negative space can feed into the flower. So I'm going to draw the shapes, but I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap there so that the petals will separate from the um, inside of the flower, that little circle part. I used to know the name of that. I can't think of it right now. So there we go. And then here we're going to have this leaf and I'm going to leave a little bit of negative space kind of in that uh, center of the leaf to show that it has a seam to it, a little leaf seam. So that becomes the side that's a little bit more, it's very graphic. We've simplified everything into basically silhouettes, but we are using the negative space to kind of help to tell the story. It's coming in here, it's feeding itself through here. All right, so on the other side, we are going to do the opposite. So I'm going to actually darken my outlines here and I'm going to be coloring around everything. And I will use the outline that I'm making as part of the negative space on this side. So in this side, instead of drawing in our positive space, we are drawing in our negative space. So we're physically filling that in. So it completes our story, but we're omitting to add color to our positive space. So we're kind of doing the opposite of what you would normally do. Normally you draw in your positive space. And on this side, we are going to be drawing in our negative space. And in doing so, we create the positive space. So I'm just gonna do this quick little example here. I think this is pretty, um, pretty uh, good example of, of how I would go about the project. Again, this is a little bit simple. It's just out of my imagination, this little flowery bee. Um, but you can draw from a reference for your own drawing, whatever you would like to do. There we go. So I'm using that line in there to, again, like have the negative space kind of feed in. And uh, if I were doing this bigger, I would be doing that. That line it would be obviously thicker and more drawn in, kind of like my, my lines here. 
Um, but because this is such a small little thumbnail, all I need to do is just add a thick line with my pencil and it kind of does the trick for me. But I still do want to make sure that they feel almost more like shapes rather than lines. Drawing all of these as shapes, not lines, but because it's so small, it uh, looks like a line, even though technically this negative space here is a shape. Okay, so that is a good example of the negative and positive space, kind of drawing in your negative space on this side. So you draw... negative space and then on this side you draw your positive space all right well if you decide to do um to do this please uh you know tag me in it you can tag me in it at creations by kendra so i can take a look uh i love to see artwork that people do and you can do anything again here's my sloth just one more time here you can see the the negative space is the white positive space is the black kind of playing with this this white here kind of becomes a little bit of a negative space even though it is part of the object which technically makes it a positive space um, but in this graphic representation the whites kind of all take on this negative role where you start to see the negative space in here and the positive space here right you kind of start to feel that and then this side here is also the positive space is the white background it's hard to tell this is kind of the shoulder of the animal and then the negative space goes in here acting it's a shape but it acts as a line to separate that uh, these two elements here and that just gives us a really nice kind of graphic quality to our drawing all right I hope this tutorial is helpful um, have a wonderful time drawing I hope to see you soon bye